Yo, YouTube, what up, guys? Back with another video. As you can see from the title, uh, we're going to be going over the best uh, settings that you can have for aim, uh, movement, um, ADS, speed, uh, all the above, color of the screen, color of your game, just all that stuff. I'm going to show you guys what I have, and it works really well for me. Obviously, there's much a lot of settings, settings videos out there. Um, it's just preference-based, but yes, you can take stuff from other people and implement it to what you uh, want to do or how you want to play and uh, it can help you out and that's what i've done in the past just watching koreans videos um end up taking maybe one from him maybe one from swag maybe one from dismo uh, and kind of combine it into my own little settings uh thing that i got and uh, it works out perfect for me and i stuck to it so anyway man let's just jump right into this i don't want to make the video too long so you guys can get right into the point um anyway for button layout i run stick and move okay i use my right analog stick to jump uh and use x uh to melee so i do have a scuff controller so i use the left paddle uh to melee so it's a lot quicker i don't have to take my fingers off the stick and when i jump obviously i just click in the right stick and i also use control freaks to help my aim and i recommend getting these uh they help tremendously i've only been using them for three or four days and they do help a lot stick and move for that my stick layouts default invert look no um okay, this is the main point i think everybody wants to see uh horizontal six uh sensitivity eight and eight okay i i found the sweet spot i know people like it high some people like if you're playing comp they usually run like a five to seven i think or maybe four to seven uh, i think eight would be pretty high for a comp in the pros but i run an eight um on bo4 i ran a nine so i've anywhere between like that seven eight and ten range is where i've had it uh but i found out eight for eight and eight works really well for me and this is another thing that i figured out that i liked a lot um it's ads sensitivity um 0.85 for both okay high zoom and low zoom okay uh so basically it's snipers and uh, snipers you could probably move up a little bit higher I don't I do not snipe a lot but I do run eight eight five for both okay um, I think you could probably move this up to maybe one if you're trying to snipe just know that the back and forth is gonna be a much quicker okay um, aim response aim response curve type okay um, I use standard I have not changed this I honestly do not do not know I do I don't have any idea what it does to be honest I haven't looked into it I've just kept it standard uh, I'm not gonna change it I've always used standard um, res uh, response curve type I think this is the only game they've had it in anyways so I just I just kept it standard um, and just kept it normal okay I just feel more comfortable with that and controller vibration I have that off um, people are like why do you have that off um, when you're getting shot at in games your controller will vibrate if you have it on and vice and whatever you're taking damage that can mess up your aim with your analog stick it's just a little bit of movement of the controller could throw your aim off maybe it's one bullet or two bullets you know what I mean but just that little bit of stability of your controller without it vibrating does help a lot and you'll get used to it and you'll fall in love with it so i run uh no controller vibration aim assist is standard uh weapon mount it's just ads and melee so l2 is what i aim with and x um aim down sight i hold as yes, normal equipment hold okay i do tap and a contextual tap uh for reload and stuff like that so i do hold uh and this is for Warzone, I switched it. I hit square to tap. I can just tap square, pick up items really, really quick. Um, and if you're using a weapon to reload, you have to hold it. You have to hold square. It'll take a little bit to get used to, uh, but once you get used to it, especially if you're a Warzone player, I think these, this is, this really works for Warzone. Just tapping square super, super fast to pick up items, especially when you land in a hot spot and there's somebody right next to you. Uh, land, boom, tap square instead of hold it and sitting on the item for a while. You can't just, but if you just, you can run right by that, boom, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Then you can start shooting people, obviously. Um, that's that. I think that really would help you if you're playing you're a Euro Warzone player. Uh, but I do use it for multiplayer as well. And I do play multiplayer more. Uh, I hold the slide, um, auto move forward. Everything is, this is the same. Uh, for general, go to general. Um, let me see the brightness right here. Uh, I use a controller. Obviously, I just showed you that. Um, brightness, I have it at 60. I think 60 is a sweet spot in my opinion. Safe area, that's just what you do for your thing. I have 0.25 film grain. Um, tools, I don't know what that is. I haven't even looked. Kept it enabled. Subtitles, no subtitles. A lot of people would like to do it, but I do not. Um, okay, right here is one big thing that I have looked at and I have messed with. Okay, right now I have colorblind type disabled. Okay, um, in the in the beta or in the alpha, what I did was I changed this. See, just look at the colors. Look at the colors right here. I'll go to disabled. Uh, the next one, the, boom. This try it. 
I don't even know how to say it, Tridentopia. Um, this brightens up the game a lot. Like, you can see this. Normal color, boom, it's bright. It's a little different color, but once you see it, it looks pretty cool. Uh, no motion blur, no weapon blur. Uh, huge, huge right here, huge. Uh, especially if Warzone, if you're a Warzone player. Uh, mini map shape, change it to square. You can see so much more of the mini map. Just look at that. Uh, oh, you can't see it in my face cam, but trust me, when you change it to the square, uh, to a square you're gonna be like wow you can literally see probably two or three times as much on the mini map so in warzone it's very key you can see drops loadout whatever it is uh, enemies obviously um item shops or buyback stations um so yeah i do recommend that um it, it rotations and enable text chat yeah that, nothing to do with that stuff audio i have boost high on my audio mix uh, master volumes at 100. I have music volume at zero. I did this on BO4. I just like it so I can hear everybody in the party chat. It's, don't have to listen to music repeat in my ear. Um, dialogue volume, so that's up. Effects volumes all the way up. Uh, I don't use Juggernaut, so whatever if you do. Um, MW, I mean, you can change these, but I have MW hit markers. Um, recording threshold 3.16. Um, blah, 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 all the way down. I didn't change these. Um, and yeah, guys, I have enabled crossplay. Um, all that stuff. So that's for my best settings video, guys. Um, I think the main thing of this is on this page. Like I said, the stick and move, the 8.8 sensitivity, the 0.85 is huge. Obviously, it's pr practice makes perfect. So you can have this set up for whatever it goes up to and be insanely cracked. But I think it this this comfortability just overall i think this is really really good settings that you guys could run um i, I am gonna mess with the aim response curve type in the future and see what it does in the aim assist um you can have a lot of stuff precision is good for really accurate players i feel like i'm pretty accurate so i may try that out but i've kept it standard uh i do pretty well with it so yeah man if you guys have any questions about other settings that you maybe didn't uh if i didn't explain it well enough or if you want to know what it is just uh leave a comment down below guys and i i'd love to help you out so yeah man this is it for the settings video uh this is what i'd run and this is what i feel comfortable doing so anyway man hopefully you guys enjoyed the video hit that thumbs up hit the subscribe button down below and i will see you in the next one peace out